All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to program the KK2 with the new firmware. It's a very simple process. I can do it in 30 seconds if you have everything set up. Um, so it shouldn't be too difficult. First thing I want you to do is go into your web browser. I've got this pulled up just to show you what I'm going to be using as far as an AVR programmer. This is a basic um, Hobby King AVR. It's a uh, USB ASP and five bucks. I mean, you really can't beat it. Uh, SparkFun also has some, but there is an important thing that you absolutely need, and that is a six-pin adapter. You have to have the six-pin adapter, otherwise you cannot, uh, you can't flash these these KK boards, either the first one or the second one. So what you want to do is go to Google and you search Lazy Zero. Very first result is the one you want. It's going to be KK Multicopter Flash Tool. Pop in there. Okay, this is the main website to get your downloads for the Flash Tool, and there's also a lot of good information on uh, sort of how to use it. But uh, also, yeah, a couple people have actually made the adapter. If you can't find the 6-pin adapter, you can uh, figure out a way to do it yourself. Here are your download links. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to reinstall, but um, you've got a Windows and a Mac version. So we'll go into the Flash Tool now takes a second to load up. First thing you're going to see is you're going to need to select your programmer. This is the USB ASP, the one I got from Hobby King, so I need to use that. Uh, another thing to note, if you're on a Mac, you don't generally have to download and install drivers. If you're on a PC, you will. Um, that's one great thing about this is it's a full, it's a flash tool, so it can work on Mac or PC uh, natively. Now, the controller, obviously very important. This needs to know what it's talking to. So KK2, it's going to know exactly what it is, and pretty much every board on the market as far as uh, KKs go. Now another really neat thing is you can actually flash ESCs if you're looking to uh, to try that out. This has the uh, the possibility of doing that. So I'll select KK2. Now there's two ways to actually secure and upload your firmware. Uh, one is you can go find it on the uh, RC Group's thread, download it, and then you can select here. And the other is pull it straight from Lazy Zero's repository, uh, which is the easiest way to do it. There's no real reason not to unless you don't have internet um, currently. So what you need to do is select, um, not the Happy Sundays, but the, the Captain Cook. This is Lazy Zero. Um, mirrored by Lazy Zero, but it's uh, Rolf's actual program. So you go to the version 1.1, plug in your KK2 with the 6-pin adapter as shown here. Um, you're not going to fry anything if it goes the wrong way. You'll know when it works because your LCD will turn on and it will be powered with 5 volts. Uh, if it doesn't turn on, then you didn't plug it in correctly. Now this little uh, green button, click that and you'll notice and there you go. This is the uh, the magic happening right here. Um, it's going to take a few seconds to write. It should be like something like 15 or 20 seconds to put all this uh, information on that tiny little processor. So it goes through writing, and then it'll go through basically confirming what it wrote. And uh, once this is done, it's simply a matter of unplugging, and you have your new firmware. Um, if you get a failed flash, there's a couple things that could have gone wrong. Uh, maybe the flash tool didn't install properly. It's also possible that the um, uh, you're on a PC and you didn't install your driver properly. But this is what it looks like when it's all done. You can go ahead, unplug your KK2, and um, start playing around with uh, a few of the new features. Now stay tuned, subscribe, thumbs up if this helped you out. Very simple tutorial. I didn't want to complicate it too much because it shouldn't be complicated. And um, Let's uh, let's give some some serious credit to to Lazy Zero and Captain Cook Rolf. Um, they've been doing amazing things for this uh, this community of multi rotor fanatics. So thank you guys for putting this work in, and um, and I'm only here to to make it easier for people just to figure this stuff out. So uh, give me a thumbs up. Feel feel free to ask me a question in the comments if you'd like. Subscribe. Stay tuned. I've got a bunch of new stuff coming up, and uh, my next video should be showing some of the changes Rolf did to the new firmware just to give you guys an idea of how to properly set up auto level now with the new features for trimming. So thank you for watching guys and have a great day.